Join us as we camp with our Forerunner and truck camper and make pizzas in a Dutch oven. Tonight we're going camping with our truck camper and Forerunner and my dad's currently behind us in the Forerunner and we're headed to one of our favorite spots on the Betty Brook Creek in the Burnt Rossman Hills State Forest. And it's right about 6 p.m. It's late October, so there's not much sunlight left. And I'm just realizing that this is actually one of the first times I've driven the truck camper on like a narrow dirt road. And the other day we added a big sway bar and airbags to the rear of the Tundra. And so far it's handling really well. And this is it. This is the campsite for tonight. That's the fire ring right over here. And the Betty Brook is actually down this way a little bit. It's pretty dark out here, so we've got to put up our string lights. We actually moved the car so we can put the lights in between the cars. I'm sure these are going to be good. Kate's making a, what is it called? Tart cherry juice spritzer. It's going to have vodka, sparkling water, some lime juice, and then this is the tart cherry juice. And that's from Trader Joe's. It's pretty good. Too tart or sweet? I think I could have added a little bit more juice, but I didn't want to overdo it at first. Gotcha. It's good though. That's good. I'll have to try sweet. it. We've already got the chicken going, and now we're about to start the sweet potato fries. Everything's almost done. I'm just adding some cucumbers to the salad. <clears throat> this kale slaw salad kit is Kate's favorite salad from Trader Joe's, and it is really good. Coco, are you excited to sleep in the Forerunner again? Last time you were in the truck camper. We've just been hanging out by the fire for the last few hours or so. You can see both cars are behind me right here and our fire is out at this point. It's probably about 10 o'clock. We're just about to head off into bed. Tomorrow, Kate's gonna be working from here with Starlink and that's gonna be like the first time we're actually using that at like a camping area. So that'll be cool to test out. And that's it for today and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, Coco. There's the Starlink router right there. We've got it coming in through this hole and it's just powering off the jackery right now. And it's currently pulling 63, 57, 59 watts. So it does draw more power than the fridge does consistently. And Kate's got a nice little portable monitor. So that makes it easy and nice to have two screens. We just walked out there and we did a test video call and it does work. And we were able to text our friends and get to social media. So this is a pretty good test and it, so far it's working well. But the real test will be when Kate has to do a video call team meeting in a couple hours. And then we'll have to see how much it buffers for when she's on that call. What are you making? Some morning tea or some morning coffee? Some tea. That looks good. We decided to take a walk down to the next Betty Brook site and um, it's a little bit longer than I thought and I think there's a little wooden bridge up here.
we finally reached the next campsite and I've stayed here before and I'll show you some video of that because this is a really nice site and the Betty Brook is right behind this. When I stayed at this campsite before I came with my friends Noah and Catherine and it was one day after I bought my current Forerunner and you can see the creek was high and flowing fast and we just really enjoyed this campsite and the sound of the creek was very peaceful having it right behind us. You can see this really is a nice site and I think there used to be another fire ring right there but now there's only this one over here. We just found an old foundation off of the road and we think this might be like the root cellar or something like that and the actual foundation's over here. We're back and we found some wood on our way and I can see that Kate has moved the Starlink up to the roof of the camper. Apparently the Starlink works a lot better when it's up higher on top of the camper. From that other site down on the Betty Brook, it was 0.6 miles away. As you can see, it's a really pretty area. There's not many fall foliage colors left. We're kind of past peak at this point. And our activity for the day is gonna be making two different uh, pizzas in a Dutch oven that we brought with us on the fire. Are you helping us with firewood, Coco? Almost. Just got a nice group photo. And I think before Kate gets on her meeting, we're actually gonna run the generator we brought to uh, power up the Jackery because the Starlink draws a lot of power. This is an older Coleman, smaller 1850 watt generator and it's not quiet and that's why we put it over this way a little bit more. It started right up without an issue and now I just gotta go plug in the Jackery. We have this plug in on the side of the camper and it basically has like a dual end extension cord on the inside of this, but I just didn't plug in the Jackery yet. So we're on 35% and let's see what the input goes up to. 83 input and 83 output. Oh, well, I've never seen this thing draw more than 102 watts. That must be all from the Starlink. Currently, our input wattage is matching our output wattage for the uh, Jackery. Between the Starlink and charging Kate's laptop, both 83 watts of input and output. So we'll have to see Hopefully that changes so we can actually bump up the battery percentage of the Jackery. It's really not that loud since we put the generator kind of far away. We actually found a good amount of wood in the forest around here, but we did bring a lot with us. Just got both pizza doughs out because we're going to let them warm up. The fire has been going for a few hours now, so we're about to start the pizzas. I think it's right about 12 p.m. And we're actually going to be making two different kind of pizzas in the Dutch oven. We're going to be doing a cheese pizza on garlic and herb pizza dough. And then we're going to be doing a chicken sausage, honey barbecue sauce pizza on this uh, regular pizza dough. We're going to work on getting the cheese one already. And I'll show you what it looks like before we put it on the fire. We got our dough and our sauce in. And now we're just adding the cheese on this one. We already moved the logs out of the way and this is going to go on the coals for like seven minutes. It's looking Melting. pretty good. Melting. Yeah. The crust is rising. Yeah. Well, that one's finishing up. I'm going to get the next one together. I think the bottom of it is burned, but the top at least looks good. I haven't tried it yet, but my dad and Kate have. And how is it? I'm about to take my first bite. Oh, all right. Turned out really good. Yeah, it looks good. I think I used slightly too much dough, but I'm just glad we didn't burn the bottom of it. I feel like this one's coming out better than the last one as far as spreading it out. Okay, I think this one's ready for the fire. While we're waiting for this pizza to finish up, I'm going to close up the tent quickly. Oh, not done yet. Let's see how this one turned out. Oh, it's looking good. It doesn't smell burned at all. 
I'd say that came out pretty good. At least it looks like it. I wonder how Kate's gonna think this one is compared to the last one. Oh, this one looks really good. Yeah, the bottom's less burned than the other one. Did you already try this one? Nope, but my dad has. This one's super good. I really like the onions on it. I'm glad we added those. This one just has barbecue sauce, right? Yeah, no regular sauce on this one, just barbecue sauce. And I actually put some seasoning on it too. It's really good. I definitely like this one more, but the cheese one was good too. Cool, yeah, we'll have to do this again sometime. I think I have to say I like this one better. I think the bottom of this one came out to be less burned than the last one. And I think the last one actually had too much cheese on it as well, but they're both good. I was just charging my phone with our folding solar panel for something to do. And now we're gonna go on a little walk down the path that's over this way. Oh, wow. I thought that was a bird. Then I thought it was a stick. The little path or old road just runs along the stream. And I don't know if you can tell, but there is like remnants of an old rock wall here. It just keeps going. And there's a hill right this way. I think we're all cleaned up now other than the Starlink. If you've never made pizzas in a Dutch oven before, it's a lot easier than I thought and they're really quick. So they're definitely worth a try. And as always, thanks for watching.